is the Monday after my birthday weekend and I'm back to grinding. This is what I made myself for lunch. I have some sourdough sandwich. I put some mushrooms, eggs, cucumber and then some cheese at the bottom. Oh my gosh you guys, I just took a bite and it's so good. This is not my regular sandwich. Like this is just too complex. I had to treat myself since I'll be studying a lot. Mm. Hi guys, so today is Tuesday. We have one and a half more days left to our first paper which is MEQ. All of us are really anxious but we're just gonna do it. I'm currently at the public library together with my friends. We've been here since the morning to study. Super visible eye bags. I'm so tired but we have to keep going. Right now we are trying to memorize the developmental stages for pediatrics. Today is the 1st of March and I'll be having my first paper tomorrow. I'm honestly so tired and I just can't wait for everything to be done and over with. I am so not prepared but I'll never be fully prepared it's not like I can do anything about it it's not like I could reschedule my exam dates so I just have to freaking do the paper for the past few days I've been studying at a cafe or at the library this is because my room right now is just not conducive like it's so messy books are just lying around stuffs are just lying around I'm just looking at it in horror it looks like Kandang lembu. This is the juice that I've been drinking every single morning. This is just a mixture of ginger, pineapple, lemon. I just love this drink so much. It makes me feel so good. It just helps to reduce my nauseousness. The past few weeks because of this exam and all the stress, I've been feeling really nauseous. It's like I'm hungry but I can't eat because I just feel nauseous all the time. You have no idea how many packets of like sour plums I eat per day. I'm actually gonna go back to studying for a little before having my breakfast. Hey guys, good morning. Today is the first day of my exams and I have MEQ today, multiple essay questions. So this is the first time that we are doing MEQs and it will be for 3 hours. I'm not sure if it's the same for other university but for mine, they have a time limit for each question and the timer just keeps running. So you can't pause to go to the toilet and even if you click next, you can't go back to your previous question. only drank half cup of coffee to make sure I don't pee. Also, I'm wearing everything thick, long pants, a knit top as well as my thick cardigan because it's gonna be so cold inside there I woke up at 5.30 I think I couldn't really sleep last night there's so much that I haven't studied just praise God that I don't know he's gonna do some miracle to put the answers in my head even though I never like read it but I studied before I will see you guys after the exam it's 12.32 and I'm back home I'm done with my first paper honestly I don't even want to talk about it it's so hard I'm not saying just for the sake of saying it's really hard guys the first three questions were fine like there are things that I don't know but it's still manageable the second half was just insane during the exam I was fine but in the car I felt so sleepy I don't even have the mood to eat actually I'm really craving for my birthday cake yeah at least we're done with the first paper right I mean there's nothing that I could do about it I can't reverse time I can't receive for the paper I don't want to receive for the paper uh, I'm so tired I'm just planning to sleep after this but I'm gonna savor my birthday cake first I'm not gonna cut it I'm just gonna eat it all man like I feel like I'm stress eating but it's okay so my family bought this cake for me and it's absolutely delicious Friday and our next paper will be on Monday so my friends and I are just here at Ayane Bukit Jalil to practice OSCE I'm just gonna spend the entire day here Right now it's about 10.30 and I just got done with my online OSCE practice with my friends. To de-stress, I'm gonna go cook for the week because I'm sick and tired of eating out. I don't feel satisfied eating outside because I'm not getting the amount of vegetable or fruits that I want. I'm just gonna do a stir fry. I'm gonna throw a bunch of things inside. I have no idea. There's no recipe for this. This is the end result. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I have some fresh chicken so I use that as protein instead. 
And I just love seeing greens in my food. Hey guys, just checking in. Today is Sunday. It's currently 12.25pm and I'm about to have my lunch. I had plans to study outside at the library with my friends. But I woke up feeling like I want to be by myself today. So that's what I did. I just cancelled my plans. I just want to remind you that it's okay to cancel plans and to say no. You want to have a change in environment. So probably after lunch, I'll be going out to a cafe to do my work until the evening. Then I'll come back. so fast right now it's really 4 20 pm and it has been three hours since i came here i got so much done that's why i love studying outside so right now i'm just taking a break from studying i've been studying and the thing that's very new to me and i definitely did not pay much focus on it's hard because it doesn't stick to my brain i'm definitely brushing that out i'll be heading home at about six to have my dinner then i'll start studying again i think i want to go out to a cafe again Right now it's 10.40 and I just came back home from Zeus Coffee. My brain is super saturated. I feel like today is super productive. At this point, I just want everything to end right away. I am just so tired of studying. It's very hectic. But I just hope that I will pass. I'm sure I will because God is taking care of me. I've got a lot of reassurance for the past few days. Now it's 5.16am and I just woke up. I'm gonna do some questions before I start getting ready for the day. It's still super early, it's like 5.50 a.m. But I'm already having my breakfast. I'm having my coffee, banana, and also a quarter of my almond croissant. I have a specific time to eat breakfast, but the reason why I'm eating like super early today is because I feel very anxious. So I think I need to feed my body to like, kind of like distract me and take the anxiousness away. I already arrived, it's currently 7.46. I've been studying my car, and right now I'll be going to the hall. And I'll update you guys after the exam. Bye guys. I'm done with day two of my exams. Woo! I am so excited even though we have two more days left but at least we got the theory out of the way. Today's paper is so much better than MEQ. MEQ was way difficult. Very hard to tell whether you did well or not because it's OBA. They have very specific answers. Lunch, I'm gonna have Mama Kim Saunami. It's one of the healthiest options that I can find here in Surumban and it's just very nourishing and comforting for the body. After that, I'm gonna go home, take a rest, then we'll start with our OSCE practice. Tired, like I don't even want to sit up straight. Mama Kim sauna me. This is so damn good. I forgot to update you guys because I was just so busy with OSCE practice. I didn't even get to nap properly in the afternoon because I felt so anxious thinking about OSCE. OSCE in clinical school is just on another level. It's not like your preclinicals. It's just so unpredictable and it's so difficult. Anyways, I had OSCE practice with my housemate from 2.45 until 6. And I took a short break, had my dinner, continued with OSCE until 10.30 and then continued studying by myself until now it's really 1 pm not have the time to update you because it was such a rush morning but right now it's 8 10 my exam will be at 10 40 but we have to submit our device two hours prior to avoid leakage of exam questions but there's no possibility but anyways i don't want to get too much into that we have to submit our devices now which means i'll have to update you guys after my exams bye guys oh my gosh we've been in quarantine for so long and we're finally going home I'll talk to you guys more in the car, but <laughs> not badly. I'm out having dinner and I'm having spicy porridge. <laughs> So yummy. Good morning guys, it's the last day of my exam and I'm so excited to leave now because it's already 7 and it's gonna take me about 20 minutes to get to my university. Just wanna show you guys my breakfast. Husky is gonna be really long so I need something that's filling. Got a large sourdough toast with some nut butter and banana. Okay, so for perfume, this is my choice for today because I need to smell like a strong, independent woman who got everything together. So that's the mood that I'm going for today. Regardless of the outcome, I'm confident. I'm amazing. Sorry I didn't update you guys in a car because I was running away from monkeys. It will hopefully be my last time here in JBLT waiting for an exam. I'm submitting my devices. So we're done! Hopefully we're done with semester Yay. 9. I mean, good job girls. This is my dinner for today. Finally having a proper meal that's filled with like vegetables, yams. And this is my partner. Yummy, yummy. 
my friend wants to try to get this toy. It's actually really cute. Hi guys, I'm sorry for the bad lighting. I'm currently outside at a cafe and the lighting here is really yellow. Today is the day that our results will be out. For the last FPP, I was home by myself when the results came out. But I don't know why this year I'm just so nervous. I just can't do it alone. I got my friend to do it with me. Okay. I'm not my study partner, stress partner. I just can't find anyone better to open the results with. I just want to pass like Kuda Universe. Honestly, we're not asking for much. We just want to pass. Guys, it's less than 5 minutes and I am so cold. It's scary. We won't pass. Why are we so afraid? It's out. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, my god. Oh my gosh. Yes. Right now, I mean, I knew because we want to take some photos before leaving ceremony. And this will be our last time coming here. We'll be coming back in semester 10 for our exams, but that's it. So, we're just gonna take some photos. <laughs> oh my gosh, the chaos. Hi, hi. Look at this never ending photo shoot. Win! <laughs> Win! Hi! Vlog lah. Uh uh. Happy! <laughs> We're done with photo shoot. Right now, I'll be having dinner with my friend at this place called Ayam Gepo Top Global. It's like spicy, marinated grilled chicken, something like that. I just wanted to say like I'm so thankful that I passed my examination. Honestly, one of the hardest semester because there's just so much to study and there's a lot of things that are really new. For example, anesthesia and we only had two weeks and IMU has high expectations for their students. They expect you to be nearly almost perfect. If even if you're just like two weeks into the posting and my friend is here okay i'll talk to you guys just got done with dinner but as i was saying imu has really high expectations from their students sometimes it can be really stressful for us because we just have to keep up with that standard another reason why semester nine is really difficult is because we only had one and a half week of study break and that's actually very cruel but i'm really grateful and thankful for everyone that supported me during this entire journey i have such great support system my family they have never given up on me they're very supportive in everything that i do and they're just like my charger my sisters even upgraded their room for my birthday weekend for me to enjoy while studying so that was really nice i'm just so blessed to have them other than my family i have a small group of friends who are really really supportive no matter where they are a lot of my true friendships are long distance they're all over the world but yet they are always there to make sure that i'm okay just really grateful that i have friends who i can really rely and trust it's really hard to have the type of friendship nowadays in this crazy and toxic world and then obviously god has been my number one supporter ever since i was born multiple times where i doubt myself and i ask myself like am i doing enough will i fail but he reassures me every single time it's crazy i was so tired one day because i had to travel to bukit jalil to practice oski with my friends i was feeling really stressed i was feeling really inadequate that day I decided to get myself a cup of coffee to survive the entire day and guess what was written on the cup don't stress today so i felt that it was definitely god speaking indirectly to me and i'm just so encouraged so that kept me going i can't believe i'm going on to my last semester it's crazy so crazy to me that you guys have been following me for quite some time now and i'm just so thankful for you guys because you guys have be such an encouragement to me i feel like i have the extra responsibilities to study hard and to perform well because i have so many viewers who are watching me and take me as their role model so i really can't mess this thing up you know i want to show you guys that as long as you put your mind into something you work hard for it can do it but that doesn't mean you have to sacrifice your mental health that doesn't mean you have to sacrifice your social life as long as you know your priorities you should be fine so i think that's the end for this video i want to thank you guys so much for watching it i just can't wait to start editing again see you guys in my next video bye guys